Hey everybody, it's me again, Sierra, and sorry I haven't been posting videos, I've been having some issues lately, mostly with my hair, and I just wanted to be look nice before I made my new video. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about why dick riding a deck is not the best way to go. Okay, so as we know, ever since, you know, Black Rowan came to three, Earth came to three, all that good shit came to three. A lot of people have been dick riding decks. Another thing I'm going to talk about is original decks. Anyway, back to dick riding. A lot of people start dick riding these decks when the balance comes out because they think they're going to be some sort of like amazing way to be better and shit. I'm just like, um, no, just because you have a black wing deck does not make it like the best deck ever and you're going to win with it. If you don't know how to use the cards, then shit, even, I don't know, someone like... Who's a sucky boss? Rick Ross from the plaza can even beat you. Like, that's, that's fucked up. Anyway. So, dick riding decks, like, when Elemental Dragons came out or Spellbooks came out, everyone's dick riding them. Now that Judgment's, like, gone and the babies are gone, no one wants to ride them anymore. I'm like, stand truly a deck. Like, have some respect for it. Like, stick with it. I mean, if you feel like changing decks, that's fine. But, like, if you just go from deck to deck to deck because you want to win, that's not fun. It, like, that's just, that goes to, to my my other topic is original decks. Now, I've, I've recently came across a duelist named Brave underscore Hero. And he has got to be, on Dueling Network, he has got to be the most pussiest duelist I've ever met. Because in his duel note, he will tell you. He'll be like, oh, unoriginal decks I, are so gay. Don't use Ryko, don't use Lila. If you use this, that, and the third on a deck, it's gonna be an original and I won't do you. It's like, nigga, what do you even use? Like, what do you use that's so original? Obviously, you're not using that much because you won't even duel people with a Ryko in their deck. Like, I came up to this nigga and said, Excuse me, I would like to duel you. Like, well, what do you run? I'm like, Well, I run um, Agents. He said, Okay, that's an unoriginal deck. I'm like, How is it unoriginal? Well, you can't use Perk, you can't use Herald, you can't use Venus, you can't use Shine Ball, you can't use Hyperion. Who the fuck doesn't use a Hyperion in an agent deck? That's like using a blue eyes deck without a fucking blue eyes. The fuck? So, the thing with original decks is, it's good to have an original deck, but, you know, it's also good, I guess, to have it combined together, because... An original deck can actually go so far. Like, so there's some really good decks out there that are just plain original, you know, no one's ever thought of before. But, like, when you net decking and, like, stapling all your decks from, like, online, that's kind of, like, I don't know. I, I don't like that that much. But, like, I understand why people do it. They just want to get an idea of, you know, what kind of deck they want. All right? They just want to, okay, I can build maybe, say, this... Uh, uh, E hero deck, but I'm gonna have to figure out a way around Strato. So let me look at this guy. What he does and have my own personal twist on it. That's what I like. But if you're over there just net decking using the exact same cards for the exact same you know strategy, then that's what I don't like. Okay, well that's my rants for about Yu-Gi-Oh for this week. Hopefully I'll make another video soon. Um, follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and hi your Yu-Gi-Oh channel.